Now, I hope this recorder hasn't been going all this time. Since morning, since the sponge bath and the shampoo. It's about 2.10 p.m., everybody. I am thrilled with the Christian Science Sentinel, Radio Sentinel, that I've heard yesterday and today. It's a Christian Science practitioner and teacher named Diane. And she was a 911 operator, a 911 operator. And her testimonies of uh, God's healing and her healing are just thrilling. They're just thrilling, folks. Go to uh, your telephone, look up Christian Science Sentinel uh, weekly podcast. And dial in telephone number and listen to it. It is superb. Jenny Sawyer is the interviewer. This woman, the 911 operator, has it exactly. And the lesson that she teaches you is going to be so helpful. And I hope for myself. This is October the 24th. We're coming into the last week of October and the next to the last month of the year. I have something to tell you. You're not, we're, we are not going to make it with God without being totally honest. No lying, no stealing, no cheating. Don't have anything to do with lying, stealing, or cheating. We must be totally, totally honest with God. Totally moral. Do not lie. Do not steal. Do not cheat. We have to be that. When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did we treat others. When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is in your life is how did you treat others. When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others. Don't think about yourself. Don't talk about yourself. Don't think about anything bad. Take all of that life, all of your time, all of your energy, take it all and pour it into loving others. Over here is a nothing. We're being fooled. We're being tricked. We're being cheated. Do not take all of that life Take all that time, take all of that energy that's going into nothing. It's a total nothing over here, a scam, a sham. Put it over here into loving others. And then one day, we find out that love is God. Whoopee, hooray! We found out who God is. We have wanted to know who God was all of our lives, and now we find it. God was always too big for us to get our arms around. And now we have a relationship with God. That's a false alarm, excuse me. Oh, there's a button on this phone. You touch it and it rings. Love is God. God is love. Now we know what God is. Since God is love and love is God, and since we know what love is, we've known that since we've been in our mother's arms. Thank you, Mother, for all of us. We know that. Since we know what love is, 
because we've known that ever since we've been in our mother's arms. Since we know what love is, and since God is love and love is God, now we know what God is. And this woman, this 911 operator, she does a superlative job of showing you what God is and giving you the feeling that you know who God is. And then on other programs, we'll go on to uh, God is everything there is. Everything in the world is God. And we'll go on to we are one with God. We cannot be separated from God. We are one with God. We're all together, the whole world, the whole universe, for 4.3 billion years or more, or whatever it was, working together, building the universe. And we've done a great job building the universe so far. Look at the miracles all around us. Look at the miracle in a turnip. Why? What a grand miracle a turnip is through and through. Glendora, what are you going to do for Thanksgiving? Are you just going to let it go by? Well, let me say, first of all, I give thanks every hour. I give 40 thank yous every hour. All right, so what are you going to do for Thanksgiving 2021? Uh, first of all, I'll get two. I'll get a vegan pie from Honest Weight and freeze it, and then I'll get a pie, a pumpkin pie. That'll be a pumpkin. I'll get a pumpkin pie from Hannaford's, and that will be frozen. And we'll put, them, we'll put them both in the freezer. And I'll get a mincemeat pie. So we'll have all three of them and put them in the freezer. I think we'll do that this week. First, last week of October. And then we, next week, on the first week of November or the second week, we will get our turnip. And we'll get three great big foil pans, okay? Very heavy foil pans. And when we cook our dinner, we will cook our punk, our uh, turnip first. Then we'll and put it in the great, great big pan and put it in low heat in the oven. Then we'll cook our potato next, okay? And then we will cook our dressing, uh, bell seasoning, real good dressing. And then what comes next after the dressing? The, I guess it's the, the peas. We'll cook the peas next. And we'll put that over here in the great big three-stack pan. And then over here, we'll put the squash and then the cranberry sauce. Have we got them all? Yeah. And I'll take four cans of cream of celery soup. And I'll put bell seasoning in it. And that will be the gravy. If you can't find gravy without meat in it. Uh, I just give up on that. So I'll take these four cans of cream of celery soup and put bell seasoning in it. And I think that will make a delicious gravy. And pour that all over the top. And of course we'll pour ground up nuts. Always is the topping. Ground up nuts is always the topping. There you are. That's what we're going to do Thanksgiving. What are you going to do? Oh, we forgot the turkey. The vegan turkey. Gardein vegan turkey.
Or will we have? Why don't we go and have, go to the Seventh-day Adventist Church and go to their store and get a turkey roll? Yeah, a turkey roll. I don't care for that other one. What is it called? I don't care for that other one. But a turkey roll. To God be the glory.